Back in the day, my favourite thing was to try and make money. GP. Looking back at when I used to play RuneScape as a kid, the first thing that I would think of is all the time I would spend trying to make money. Whether this was doing these methods or planning out my next money making empire in my head. But one question I think about now is whether those methods have stood the test of time. Can I still make money from these methods? These methods from 15, 20 years ago? Are they even worth attempting? Well, let's find out. I'm doing this so you don't have to. There's so many different methods to actually do. So many different ways of doing it through skills, through gathering, so many different approaches that people have done over the years. It's ridiculous. So I took it upon myself to, to scour the, the web and find some of you, your guys' weird, weird methods. Some that are definitely not going to work. But you know what? I'm going to just fucking do it. Who cares? I'm just going to do it because it could be funny. You never know. I'm going to be spending probably about an hour on each method. Nothing more than that. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back the clock and go to one of my classic methods that I used to like doing doing as a kid. That was going to Gnome Stronghold and going to this nice little swamp and just picking up as many toads as we can, rip their legs off and pick up the king worms as well. This video is testing them old methods in today's game. So if I have a better way of teleporting back, I will do it. For instance, the seed pod will make this make this worth doing. I've got my, my pouch, my seed pod. Let's go pick up some fucking some toads and giant worms, boys. This is literally bringing back the years. So I'm going to pick up the toads, the worms, and see how good this fucking is. <laughs> oh, make an absolute bank. We can have a form tree. Going to run back. Once I'm here, I can quickly remove the legs. Because I believe that's the thing that's actually worth money. Yep. Try not to eat it like I just did there. And back we go. This one's quite good as well, because obviously there's not really much skill requirement you need. Obviously, it's nice if you have the seed pod. But if you don't, then... I'm sure you can find another way of doing it. Spirit tree would also be quite quite viable. Easily done. Pick up these poor swamp toads, take them from their home, rip their fucking legs off, and rinse and repeat, really. Just spam click the end one. That's good to know. That's good to know. That's so much better. I was eating quite a few. You can just spam click the last one, and it will do all the ones above it. There's something so nostalgic about this. I don't know what it is, but I feel I feel like I'm I'm 10 years old again. It's ridiculous. I'm also, I've grabbed 100 earth runes and I'm going to calculate how much I actually use. But when I run out of run energy, I'm just going to my house and recharging my run. Like I said previously, it isn't going to be exactly the same as it used to be. It's got the any added bonuses from the new game that I can add in. A house portal that can easily recharge my run energy, which will speed this up. And it will make it whether or not it's actually doable in today's market. I'll have to wait and see. Keep clicking the wrong teleport. Ah, losing toads. They're getting away. The bastards. If I was actually efficient, oh, I'd be making bank. Can't afford to keep eating and misclicking these toads. Oh, you taking the piss. An evil Bob random event. Can't get out in a minigame, no. That doesn't exist on minigame only. Bollocks. You should go watch it. What's this guy doing? Why is he trying to nick my toads? Piss off, mate. It's my turf. I'm trying to make my money. Yep, so this is going to be the final trip. This is half hour of picking up these. Well, we'll round it up to an hour by doubling whatever we get. I will also double the cost of supplies that it's cost us to do. I think half hour of this is enough. A fair representation of how it would be for an hour, to be honest. There's not many factors. There's no drop rates. There's nothing. It's just picking up the same things for an hour. So after half an hour, we managed to secure 200 king worms. And then managed to also secure... 343 poor toad legs. 343 toads were just ripped apart in half an hour. That's not too bad to be fair. I'm just going to go and actually sell these. I'm just going to whack them in at GE. Whatever they go for, they go for. This would be a fair representation. They sold instantly. Nice. Not too bad. 198k in half an hour. Toad legs aren't selling though. Oh no, no one wants toad legs. No one wants toad legs. Why not? Oh no. Toad legs are not the one. Oh, there we go. 272. The worms and toads, after an hour of doing this, would get us about 583k. The supplies cost us 8k, which gives us a profit of 575k per hour. So that's not too bad. The issue is the toad legs, they weren't as valuable as they, they said they were. The king worms, they pulled through. The king worms carried big time there. So for each one, we're going to have a scoring system. Scoring out of 10. These are going to be marked on five different factors. And then whether or not I think it's worth it. That's being intensity, then difficulty, then the requirements to do this, like supplies you'll need, gear, any quests, prerequisites, whatever. The nostalgia of it, the end result, and whether or not it was worth it. The toad legs and giant worms. Intensity, an eight, I reckon. I'm very click intensive. My right finger is hurting, and I wouldn't want to do it for an hour straight, that's for sure. 
difficulty probably a one it, it was it wasn't difficult it's just clicking some toads and some king worms nothing really to it requirements probably a two because you need the quests obviously you can get over there but then you don't actually need them you can just run to them from the bank but your gp per hour will be less nostalgia is a i'll tell you it's a good eight it, it threw me back threw me back a few years yeah teleport me back to 2010 i don't know teleport me back quite a distance End result, I say a 7 to be fair, it surprised me, it surprised me a lot, I wasn't expecting it to actually yield a profit like that, 575k, if we did it for the hour that is, so you know what, I'm happy with that, it was decent, is it worth it, for new accounts I reckon, I reckon it's worth doing still, it yielded a bit of a profit, nice little start of cash, 291k to a fresh account, that's a lot, and that's only for half an hour, so do it for a full hour, that's some nice little profit there, on to the next method, this next method is one from way back when, this method's been mentioned all over the internet, even from way back in the day. This is all over Reddit, loads of different threads. That is to kill Chaos Druids. This could be rough because they're old creatures, they probably don't drop that much. It's just herbs, really, that's we're going to be relying on. But yeah, a lot of people have suggested this in the past. Even just through the old forums, there's so many different methods mentioned. And Chaos Druids always comes up. Why is that? Herbs have always been valuable, needed for potions. Even amongst all this managed to find a video from skill specs doing a guide on killing chaos druids i'm not doing this on a slayer task so no larian keys will be dropped to make this a bit more retro like how we would do it back in the day like obviously i don't want to do it in the most most efficient gear and also i don't have the most efficient gear so to vary this up a little bit i'm gonna be putting on the most chad setup i can think of or just a standard setup that will make good good kills per hour not the best but not the worst so starting off with a dragon med helm of course and then you can see the nice clipping from my hair through the helmet brilliant nice work going for the classic room plate body Martin! Amulet of Glory, if everyone can afford this. Just some Barrow's Gloves. It's dragon Boots. Fire Shield, so you got to, got to start a Dragon Slayer, boys. Sorry. The Golden Boy, the Team 16 Cape. And the Weapon of Choice, the Dragon Skimmy. I've gone for the Glory and a Ring of Jewel then. Easy way of getting to Ferox to recharge if I need to, and then back to Edgeville. The ones I'm going to be killing are going to be in the wilderness. I know there's a bit of risk there, but sometimes you've got to live oh, life sorry. on the edge. Just gotta not get PK'd really. That's the that's the key here. But these boys over here should be enough. Start as timer. Ah! Oh, one bang, the first one. Look at oh, there we go. Good to keep aggro and then I guess this is technically FK as well. Care package ready for direction. Mark the drop zone. Great purge of fucking chaos druids, eh? So far, not <laughs> I don't I wouldn't say this is ah oh, gear upgrade, bronze longsword. God, this whole fucking army of them over here. Jeez. Hey, there's the first Raynor. The first bit of actual money made there. Hey, another Raynor. ka -ching! Oh, another Raynor. It's raining Raynors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fog's getting involved. Fog with his beer belly. I know for this method I could bring a herb sack, but I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk getting PK'd and losing my herb sack, because that would have been rough. But then at the same time, like I said, I do want to make it somewhat fair and not have in-game equipment needed in order to do the method. So this is just a, a fair representation for the average player. Enemy spotted. Would PK you, mate, but too good for you. Look at this person trying to be sneaky. Splash scape, good one, mate. Not fun for that. Our first inventory done, so I'm going to just teleport to Edgeville, give it a quick bank, and then rinse and repeat. Unholy moldy. There's going to be no more druids here. Their spawn points are going to be removed. They've been killed that many times. Some would say I'm causing too much chaos for them. <laughs> They're going to move house. It's too chaotic down here. Knock knock. Who's there? Your demise. Oh, I didn't want bang him. That's disappointing. I'm coming Fred, don't worry. Oh, this one wants some. He wants it. He's backing his mate. <laughs> Yeah, fuck up. Oh no. Shit, he's gone behind the gate. He's fucked me up. He's size. Oh no. This man's put up a fight. I give him that. Fair play. Bamboozled me. That's our hour at Castrid's done. The expected value of the rewards we got. I'll do the runes first. About 12k. All the herbs. In you go, son. 255k at hand. That's the expected amount. And of course, can't forget the bronze long sword. So after that method, we profited 261k. And that's in this Chad setup. Nothing else really. Going from the scores out of ten. Intensity, I'd give it a six. It wasn't wasn't hard. It wasn't it's was quite FK to be honest, because they would aggro on you. Difficulty, a three, the combat level thirteen. The only worry is you're in the wilderness, but no one's no one's killing you in that spiral. Requirements, a one. <laughs> the only requirement is just to buy the gear, but you can do it in any gear basically. 
Uh, nostalgia, I'd give it a six, six or five. To me, it wasn't that nostalgic, but to some people it would be. End result, probably a four. 261K, can't really moan it, it's a profit. It's not bad. Is it worth it? Probably not. There's definitely better ways to earn money in this game. It's very outdated, wouldn't really recommend it. But for a new account, it might be okay again, so who knows? Okay, so this method, gonna be doing some wood cutting, which is an absolute classic method. Uh, the method's gonna be cutting yew trees. Multiple people suggesting to cut yew trees. I'm gonna do this with another modern day twist, and that is doing a forestry world. Should hopefully chop more. At Sears Village as well, so an absolute classic location. Farm has started. Just me, you, and everyone else. Here's our first bank, our first inventory. So far, as I would expect, this is a very, very calm method. Very AFK, very light work, nothing too crazy. Just swing the axe and hit a tree, right? That's pretty much what it is. Just cut that wood. At least in today's game, the render distance is so much further. So <laughs> you can one click the bank from the Sears Village yew trees, which is actually very nice. Which makes this even more AFK. Chop chop. Time's up. Let's go bank these use. Let's see how we got on. 191 logs in the hour. Not great. What's the price check on that? 44k. Okay. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. And they instant sell for 44.5k. For the yew trees, I'm going to give this intensity rating a 1. It wasn't intense at all. Very AFK. Quite chill. And then difficulty, also a 1. Click tree, chop wood. Clickbank sorted. Requirements. I gave it a three because you need 60 wood cone just to chop use. Uh, nostalgia. I gave it a nine. It felt very, I don't know, it had a feeling to it. Like back at Sears Village. Classic. Swinging axes with the guys, you know? With the boys. What more could you want? Dress like this as well. I think the Med Helm made it. The Med Helm just finishes it all off, you know? Uh, end result. I'd give it a two. If you're going off money aspects, 45k isn't a lot. It wasn't too bad XP to be fair for wood cutting, very AFK like I said. So is it worth it? Probably not, no. No, I wouldn't recommend it. Not for money anyway. For an easy AFK, with a bit of money I guess it's fine. Our next method comes from SpiritFox22. His method was flitching arrow shafts and selling on the GE. It used to make 400 to 500 k per hour and they almost sold instantly. I'm going to be doing this method by purchasing maple logs and essentially just fletching them for an hour straight. Now at the end, just selling the shafts and hoping to make some good bank. Maple logs. Let's buy a thousand for now. So they're costing, well, did they, did they instant buy? No, no instant buy there. Okay, so instant buying for 12. Thousand done. No, it's literally just turn these into shafts. That's all it is. Each shaft is apparently one GP. Might be able to set it for more. That's our first inventory done. Nice and AFK though, nice and AFK. There's 10,000. This man, this man loves a shaft. <laughs> That's 50,000 arrow shafts. Okay, so that's our hour done. We've managed to get 82,800 shafts done in the hour. Not the most efficient, I'll be honest. Let's see how much they sell for. Let's just put you up for 82,800. One coin, one coin roulette. Someone wants to buy an arrow shaft, there you go. Because it's not going to sell. I'll leave it on there and hopefully it does sell. Okay, so it's been a while. Hopefully my arrow shafts have now sold. Let's have a check. Yes, they have. 82,800. Perfect. Thank you very much. Nice bit of profit. At the end of the arrow shafts, we sold these for 82.8k. We had to subtract the supplies, which cost us 16.4k. This then resulted in us making a profit of 66.3k. When it comes to ratings, intensity, it was a two. Very easy, very AFK. Difficulty, it was very easy. There wasn't much difficulty to it. So that's, that's a one. The requirements to do this very low anyone can do it anyone can do pretty much any shafts maybe not as efficient but maples away and there's not much requirement for that nostalgic wasn't very nostalgic to be honest but it was afk the end result i give it a three it was better than the u logs but not much better so 66k profit would i recommend it not really but it's quite afk and bank standing so yeah i wouldn't recommend it though probably not worth it thank you for watching this different kind of video uh, it's a different approach i enjoyed making it there's plenty more old money makers to try. So if you like it, please do like the video and subscribe. Any of your own old money makers that you want me to try, put them in the comments down below and I'll get to them. Cheers.